Right then guys, we have done a ton of these gameplays in like literally a week. I think I've done like five or six and I've been struggling massively on this game. So this time I'm picking a nation slash someone did suggest it. It's Mexico. We're going to do a run with Mexico. Now Mexico aren't a bad team because they qualified 14 times, uh, 15 if you want to count, um, well 16 actually if you want to count the two World Cups up till now. But we're going to do this. We're going to do this. this. Mexico are a decent team. They cannot fail, right? They, they can, unless I get a really bad group stage. We are in a group with Gabon, Malta and China. Now, we cannot fail in that group. We cannot fail in that group. That is an easy group if I've ever seen it. The game's been kind to us, given us a nice little group. Uh, Gabon might be a little bit of a, a, a problem. Maybe China, but Malta definitely not. Like the way this, these World Cups have been going the past few days, I've been getting frustrated and I just want, I just want a better chance of winning it. Like, come on, surely I, I, I got to, right? Against these three nations and hopefully onwards, unless I run into a bigger team, then what's the problem? Um, Mexico, you know, not a bad side at all. Not a bad side at all. I do love Mexican footballers, you know, like um, Hernandez, um, Luis Hernandez, Chicharito as well, just some fantastic strikers, you've had uh, Carlos Vea as well, he's brilliant, so yeah, that's a few I can name off the top of my head, I do know more obviously, but <laughs> the only threat Gabon posed to me is Aubameyang, uh, both Aubameyangs, um, was it Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and I think his brother's like, is it like Willie Aubameyang or something, I'm fairly sure, they, they pose serious threats to me because they're quick. Blanco, oh, okay. Why um, the guy didn't get into the box fast enough? It's sad that I got to pick a three and a half star team to try and win this. But you know, when world class is beating you down, you pick a world class side. I'm sure a lot of people as well will be very happy to see Mexico finally being brought out on the 2010 World Cup game, as opposed to me just playing. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god! How did that go wide? That was beautiful, honestly. The keeper was coming out and I, I, I had the right, I had the right height, but no, nah. Why did it have to go to him? Nobody's, t yeah, yeah, I got it. I was about to say nobody was coming towards me and we got our first goal. Not surprising at all, in the slightest. They didn't even close me down on that one. It's Guadado. Guadado? Is that it? Yeah, probably. But we got our first goal. Nice one. 1-0. One nice. It's finally good to get a goal without trying to like, swear out, you know? Like, getting a goal on world-class difficulty is always just, like, <laughs> the biggest ball ache ever. Look at this play. Guadado, the goal scorer, down the wing. This could be an easy goal if we play it right. Yes, easy goal. Nice one. 2-0. Two, 2-0. Two two nil. Franco with the goal. I, I noticed that um, Mexico have um, a straight partnership of Franco and Blanco at the top. And that's not a lie. That's not a lie. They actually do. That's quite a nice little combination. I hope as well that I'm not oversaturating you guys with content. It's just that, you know, like, I figured it would be a great time to push really hard with my YouTube since I've got um, a considerable amount of time off work. Half time then, and it's 2 0. I'm actually quite happy with this. We, we've dictated the game very well. We've controlled the ball very nicely, you know. We've actually done okay. You know, we haven't, we haven't faltered or anything like that. I mean, that shot should have gone in for a start. That would have been a great start to the gameplay. Great ball. Here comes Franco. He's outpacing that defender very nicely. And yeah, just, that's just easy. Easy. I mean, I expect it, so I'm not really like that excited about it, but. I think it was Franco that scored, yeah, nice one. 3 0. I don't think we've actually, well, we have won 3 0 on this difficulty, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I am playing as one of, like, one of the top 20 teams in the world. Yes, 4 0. Look at that. That was just easy. Look, look, clinical Mexico. Very clinical. Very happy about this. Very happy. I'm, <laughs> I'm smiling. I'm really, I'm really happy. Probably one of my biggest wins on World Class at the moment. Feels good to win like this on this difficulty. A big win at the start of the gameplay is what we need for form and everything. Just in case, you know, Malta feel like they want to spoil the party or maybe China want to spoil the party. 
Great tackle by Vea. All I have to do now is just do that. Yeah, 5 0. Easy. Carlos Vea scores. That'll bring us form up. Brilliant. This is amazing by Mexico. 5 0 against Gabon on world class. It's a party. It's party time for the Mexicans. That's probably my biggest win on world class. Like I said, it is with a three and a half star team. I think Mexico should really be a four star team, really, or four and a half, because they are pretty good. Our next match is against Malta, and if it goes the same way as Gabon, then God help them. The Santos. Whip it in. That's an easy header. Yeah, that's a great goal. Great goal. Torado with the goal, and it's 1-0 against Malta. Again, not too surprised about it. They're not very big celebrations. But, you know, the cross was decent. It put the goalkeeper off, and we got the easy head in. Oh, look at that ball to Franco. From Blanco to Franco, will it be Golasso? Yes, it will. It's 2-0 against Malta. Easy. Just easy at the moment. Just easy. It feels really easy on World Class at the moment, but... It gave me a nice group, and I appreciate that game. Thank you for doing that. Franco through on goal. Will this be an easy goal? Yes, it will. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Usually, I'd be mad about that, but because I'm 2 new up, I'm not too fussed about it. Okay, watch this. I'm going to take it with a chair, and if it goes in, I'm the greatest FIFA player ever. You're going to score, boy. Oh, he actually tested the keeper. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, it's a one-star keeper, but still... Achoa almost scored. Franco. Oh, he just got cut down. He got cut down in the box. I was about to shoot, but oh, the Maltese are not not happy about that. Okay, is that going to be a red? Oh, I didn't. Even, I didn't really get to see. But I'm going to take the penalty of Achoa. I want to get him a goal. It's in the green. And Achoa scores. What a legend! He's got his goal against. Malta, <laughs> it was a penalty, but still, it doesn't matter. He's got a goal in this World Cup. I forced it. <laughs> there we go. A chow with the goal. Brilliant. Oh, Malta just scored. They outheaded me and scored. Fair enough. You know, I'm not mad about that at all. Fair play. Fair play to them. The early cross, I know it's a bit exploitable. And they actually outheaded my, my guy there. He should have done better, really, but it's fine. We're just going to shoot from the halfway line, see if it goes anywhere near the goal. Through ball, Franco. Can he go through? Yes, he can. Yeah, easy goal. 4 1 against Malta. We're loving it at the moment. We are, we are cruising here. We are cruising. The Mexicans are loving it. I am their new manager. I'm going to divert them to a World Cup. Has a shot. Ooh, just over the bar. And there it is. 4-1 against Malta, a very good result. Fair play to them for getting their goal, but we just um, outclassed them at the end of the day. That's nine goals in this World Cup. That's more goals than they score most of the time for these run-throughs. Honestly, like, very good in the first two matches to score. I know the opposition are not quite as good as Mexico, but it's fine. You know, the group, this, that's what the group gave us. You've got to play what's in front of you. Our last match of the group stage is against China. A bit of a nothing match this, China versus Mexico, but I guess it's just a chance for us to flex our muscles a little bit more, hopefully. I mean, China are a two and a half star team, maybe a three star team. Be interesting to see who the game gives me in the next round, and that wasn't a great header, but thankfully, China can't shoot at the moment. Franco. Finesse shot. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful. That goal was beautiful. He shrugged them off and finesse shot and the curve on that was just all oh, beautiful, beautiful goal. Hmm. You gotta, gotta watch that again. Turn around. He leaves his man. I'm just like, okay, finesse shot, bang. Straight in to the top corner. And it's 1-0 against China. Mexico are banging in the moment. They are absolutely amazing. That was a brilliant pass. I think he, like, backflipped it. I'm not sure, but it's Franco. Franco and Blanco are just, oh, the perfect strike force for me at the moment. Uh, when the ball came into the box here, yeah, he did. He did. He, he sort of, like, flicked it. Look at this. Franco through. Franco. 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 Franco, easy, oh my god, off the post. We could have been 4-0 up. We could have been 4-0 up. Two post hits, two goals, 4-0. Game over for China. 
Yes, Blanco. You absolute legend. Yes, yeah, just so easy. <laughs> Blanco definitely not firing blanks in this World Cup. It's 3 now, and he is monstrous in front of goal at the moment. 3 0 against China. This is world class, by the way. I'm not even joking either. Mexico just seem to have this, like, perfect um, way of getting upfield and just going from goal. Do you know what I mean? They have the perfect formation, the perfect players that are to complement that formation. At the moment, anyway, the group stage has been very pleasant. We are just in form at the moment. We are so good at the moment. It's just... Oh, Oh, I just can't believe it. Mexico have been a breath of fresh air. Gabon 1-0 against Malta. Oh, that was a hell of a save by the Chinese goalkeeper. We go for the header again. Oh, it literally came off like the corner of the post. Yes, I didn't think that pass would work, but it did. And it's Franco. Oh, this is beautiful play. Beautiful play. We have scored like what thirteen goals in in these three matches. Mexico are on fire and Frego, whatever you say it in Mexican. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, China caught napping. Franco threw on goal. Yes, that's just too easy. I reckon either Franco or Blanco after this World Cup will be the highest goal scorers, like like ever, like. <laughs> like from Mexico, like this World Cup run, I've beaten Gabon like five 0 I've beaten China five 0 and I beat Malta four one. This is crazy. Go on, Blanco. Go on. Just keep, just keep running. You know, this China defender is nothing. He ain't nothing. Yeah, look at that. He stunned the Chinese keeper. It's <laughs> six 0 Too hot to handle. It's Blanco. <laughs> Too hot to handle, it's Blanco with the sixth from Mexico, absolutely dominant in front of goal. Oh, 6-0, I can't believe that. 6-0 on a world-class gameplay? Wow. There we go then, it's a 6-0 victory, a dominating performance by Mexico, and I cannot wait to see who we got in the next round. We destroyed that group. We just literally, just, we saw them and we pushed then in, we, we pushed our big thumb on top of them and never, never kept the pressure off. Right, who have we got next? We got Denmark, okay. Um, we've had trouble with Denmark in the past, so I'm hoping that that won't be the case now. It might be, you know, a bit difficult. Okay, so China got through, they got eliminated by Cyprus. Um, Saudi Arabia beat um, Bosnia. So we got matchups between Croatia and Sweden, Argentina and Trinidad, me versus uh, Denmark, Serbia versus Belgium, Italy versus Togo, and England versus Peru. Franco's got nine goals. In second is Stankovic with three. Franco is running away with it. If he gets one more, that's double figures. I don't think I've ever seen that in a gameplay before. Oh no, that was a great pass. Great tackle though. Oh, if they shot, it might have actually gone in. Denmark look like they've come to play to prove something, to knock off the super hot Mexico that we see here at this World Cup. No, oh, they came close there. Defence need to wake up a little bit in those situations. Oh no, great save. Oh no, what the hell? Oh, thank God Ochoa got that. Great save. Great ball. Now can we, oh, he's holding me back. That's bullshit, man. He's holding me back. He was literally holding my shirt. But whatever. It's 0-0 um, at half-time. I don't really know what to make of this game, to be honest. I've had my chances. Um, the game's not letting me take him at the moment. Have a shot. Can't let him do that. Can't let him do that. they got a corner. And you know what corners are like on this game. Very exploitable. Especially when the AI is doing it. Because the AI literally just do what they want. Great ball. Blanco. Here we go. Yes! Blanco continues his fine form and it's 1-0. Nice. That's the that's the chance I was looking for. That was the chance. And we got it. Now we just need to hold on for about, what, 18 more minutes or so? Caught them napping. He's too fast. Right under the goalkeeper. Nice one, Mexico. Oh, that was beautiful. That was just beautiful. I think it was that man again. Yeah, it was. It's Blanco again. Nice! This guy is just on fire. That was beautiful. We punished Denmark there. The the guy even turned round and 
Like, he wasn't even looking number two there. He was looking towards goal. Shouldn't be doing that when you're defending. Oh, look at this ball here. Blanco. From goal. Now to Franco. Oh, unlucky. Maybe I should have ran a little bit further. I don't know. When other three-star teams have faltered, these, these guys have done really well. Quarterfinals, here we come. Yeah, literally. Quarterfinals. Thank God for that. Oh, we got rid of Denmark. We dispatched of them. All those times that Denmark have knocked us out. Now we got rid of them. Right, who we got in the next round then? Who have we got? We got Belgium. Okay, Belgium. 2010 Belgium. Not as good as today's Belgium, obviously, but still can be a bit of a threat. Cyprus have uh, got to the um, semi-finals. Wow, that's incredible. So you've got Cyprus and Argentina in the semis, and it's either between Mexico, Belgium, Italy, and England. Okay, so we've got... Oh, Toronto got injured. That's bullshit. Quarter-final matchup between Mexico and Belgium. I don't think I've played Belgium too much on these gameplays. Um, I'm not really sure how the 2010 Belgium sort of holds up. Well, I can see Dembele and Fellaini. Um, and obviously you've got company as well. Probably no De Bruyne. I think this was a bit too early for De Bruyne, possibly. Who have they got? Um, yeah, Fellaini. Vertonghen, yeah, I know that. But yeah, other than that. Oh, Morales as well. So yeah, they got some decent players in there. Very competitive game in midfield at the moment. Lots of tackles going on. That's what we like. Imagine a Mexico-Cyprus final. That's what we'd all love to see. Yes, we scored! I didn't realise I would. I was silent for that, but Giovanni de Santos puts us 1-0 up against the Belgians. Belgians, not Belgians. <laughs> oh, he nutmegged him as well. That was nasty. Look, he was standing there and he nutmegged him. That was nasty by Giovanni de Santos, and it's 1-0. Is Mexico going to be our first world-class winner? That would be amazing. There is one more difficulty after this. There is legendary difficulty, but that would be just impossible. Like, I'll just do that for a joke, maybe one day. Don't you dare! Oh, great save! Belgium have been all over us for the past, like, ten minutes. But great save by Choa. Osorio. Fouled. Literally, he's done that a couple of times now, that Lombets guy. No, come on, send him off. He's done it twice. Send him off. We are only about, what, 40 minutes away from guaranteeing fourth place. Because even if we get knocked down the semis, there's still a fourth place match. Or a third place match, even. Oh, don't you dare. Goalkeeper's coming out for it. That's great. That is great goalkeeping, that is. Recognised the threat, booted it out. It's great stuff. I don't know why the coach is moaning. Eight more minutes. Eight more minutes to play. And then we're in the semi-final. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I thought I'd been dumped out, you know, in the quarterfinals or the round of 16. Possibly the group stage, you know, with the, the way this game's going sometimes. But we're on our way to the semis of world-class difficulty for the first time ever. We're on our way. We've got one foot in the door. Can we just put both feet in there? and sit down and make ourselves a cup of tea in the doorway. That's it. We're in the semi-finals. For the first time ever on World Class, we are in the semi-final. God, that was a hard game against Belgium. They didn't do much in front of goal, but they were just so defensive that I, you know, in the back of my mind, I was thinking they might have actually done something against me, you know, hit me on the break or something. Who are we against next then? England or Italy await us in the semi-finals. We're good enough. We are good enough for that team. We are good enough. Mexico versus Italy in the semi-final. I cannot wait for this one. I want to get revenge on Italy so much for the mad times they've smashed me, like dumped me out of um, semi-finals, quarter-finals and stuff. And this is the perfect time to do it. Italy with it in. Nobody's there. Oh, nobody picked it up. I even was I was holding the Y button to bring a Choa out, but for some reason the game wouldn't let me. That's really sad, that. But all right. 1-0 down against Italy. Kind of expected it, to be fair. Kind of. I was confident, though. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's more annoying. Yes. Keep going. 
keep, keep going, man. Oh, uh, it wasn't quite strong enough. I was trying to get away from him, but it wouldn't let me. Great save, Achara, great save. Came out, stopped the threat. Big time. No, great save again. Gotta be goalkeeper of the tournament, right? The amount of saves he's made and he's kept us in these games. Italy would have dispatched this game ages ago. Oh, Buffon denied us. Oh, my God. That header was perfect. Right, can we do it again, please? Oh, that was close. We've had a couple more shots, but... Uh, I don't know, the header was the better chance. No, 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 no. Oh, that... I tried to header it away, and that... that That's it. That's game over now. That's game over. That's sad, dude. That's sad. Mexico, Mexico. Look, I headed it out, and instead of going to the player that should... I couldn't help that. I had to do something, because if I didn't header it out, then um, what would have happened was they probably would have scored near post. Oh, uh, they're just all over me. I can't even make a proper shot. They just, like, smother you. Get out. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, we're out. But we had a really good one. And we're guaranteed either third or fourth place on our world-class run. And you know what? I'll take that. I'll take it. I've done really well to get this far on this difficulty, but you know what? Cyprus have done even better. I can't believe Cyprus made it this far. That is crazy. Um, so they ho I hope they give me a good matchup. I hope they do. I hope they don't roll over. If they beat me, they beat me. You know, that's fine. But I would like that third place medal. <laughs> I would like that. Cyprus going through. Oh, they scored. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, we've gone from a little bit, you know, on fire to a bit cold now, I think, Mexico. A bit cold. They let Cyprus score that, and Cyprus on 1-0 up. You know what the AI is going to do now. They're just going to lock down the defence and just play it safe. I just don't think Mexico are with it. Why is it, if I lose against, like, any big side, my form just dips massively? I don't understand it. Like, losing against Italy isn't that bad. If I lost against Cyprus in the semi-final, then that we would have been, like, a little bit, like, okay, you know, that's not a great result. They've been really good defensively, Cyprus. I've actually been quite impressed with them. It's frustrating on my end, but, you know, good for them. Good for them. It's just, I don't know. What's happened to Mexico in this last game? Only one shot? We got Franco and Blanco scoring like what, like 13 goals between them? And they can't like just get one against Cyprus? Oh, you had the right idea. Oh, great goal. There we go. We got a goal. Nice one. And it's uh, Franco. Nice one. We got the goal. Thank God for that. Cyprus were annoying. All I had to do was turn, just walk past him. Finesse shot. Straight in. Right. Bit more exciting game now. Cyprus aren't dominating anymore. Oh, go on, Blanco. Go on. Finish this. Yes. 2-1. We could be getting that medal after all. Blanco in the 63rd minute. There was never any doubt, apart from me. <laughs> Great interception. It looks like we're about to win this third place medal. That would be awesome. I'm sorry, Cyprus. You know, I know you're a smaller nation, and I, it would have been amazing for you to win it, but I wanted it more. That's our World Cup done. We got a third place medal, and it's a shame that the game doesn't actually have a third place medal celebration, like a proper one where they're actually collecting medals and that. But you know what? I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that. Mexico were awesome. Absolutely awesome. They were good defensively. They were fast. Clinical in front of goal. Franco and Blanco were just, just amazing. Just amazing. You just don't know how good they are. We almost slipped up against Cyprus. We lost against Italy. Fair play. And then we beat everybody else. Okay, so Italy won on penalties against Argentina. So congratulations to them. Franco with 10 goals. And then Blanco with 5. So between them two, they got... 15 goals. 15 goals. That's amazing in a World Cup. 10 for one striker is amazing alone. 
That's amazing. You can't, you can't believe that. Anyway, this has been Toba Loco. I hope you've enjoyed this Mexico gameplay. I really hope you have. I really did. Um, if you did, then give it a like and subscribe. That would really help out the channel. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.